Hello. Welcome to Dan Explains It All. Today we're here to talk about BL-52. BL-52 is a phase repeater, which maybe we should talk about what a phase repeater is. Well, if you take a phaser and you put a delay inside of it, that's a phase repeater. Phase repetition was first explored in the Old Blood Noise Endeavor's Dweller, a pedal originally aimed at phasing that introduced time stretching to create an effect entirely its own. It's somewhat like delay or reverb. It's like a delay where the repeats continually vary in their clarity or diffusion. It's as if you could look at each phase element of a signal and stretch those elements out over time. Or maybe it's as if you could look at one body and extrapolate every victory or embarrassment of its lifetime. Ah! It's... It's something like that. It's a fun sound and full of memories. Hello. 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 BL-52 has a simple control set. The basic sound is that of phase repetition. An LFO pushes and pulls on a series of delay lines to create something unique. Let's set mix and volume at unity and feedback all the way down to first explore the clock control. This slider sets the timing of everything in BL-52. The time of the delay lines, the speed of the LFO, the sample rate even. Slid all the way to the right, you get your fastest repeats, or your fastest LFO, and your best signal quality. Uh, I'll also share with you a little secret right now. Uh, as you dig in and play harder, the LFO speeds up just a little bit. Y you might not even feel it in that way, but I felt like I should share a secret with you. As we slide the sliders to the left, the delay times get longer, the LFO gets slower, and the signal quality begins to degrade as the sample rate drops. Eventually, it gets quite warm, and noise and aliasing are introduced, and the repeats can get quite long. It sounds almost like there's feedback, but each repeat you're hearing is a little bit different from each other. Okay. Let's take a break from the jargon and talk about the volume control. It sets the output volume of BL-52. Turn it all the way down for nothing at all, or all the way up for a slightly boosted signal. This helps you tailor it to your preference. Now let's talk about the feedback now. Feedback is pretty simple. It takes the output of the phase repeater and feeds it back into the input. This can create longer trails and further washes of ambience. Especially with the clock slider all the way down, if we crank our feedback knob, we can really drift away for quite some time in this sound. Okay, finally, there's a mix control. Mix sets the blend between the unaffected and affected signal, or dry and wet. You can use this to add clarity of a dry signal when you're on a really long and washing s setting, or turn the mix up and get only ambience. Perhaps you don't even want the clarity of a dry, only phase repetition. Mix helps you dial that in. Oh, also there's an on-off with switch. It's soft touch, uses true bypass, relay switching. Uh, there's an input and an output jack. A DC jack for 9 volt center negative power. It requires about 110 milliamps. And that's it. That's BL52, the new phase repeater from Old Blood Noise Endeavors. You can buy it now for $179 from oldbloodnoise.com and participating dealers worldwide. Come join us, won't you? <laughs>